Hello everyone. So we have 7 to the power of 5 plus 7 to the power of 4 plus 7 to the power of 3 plus 7 to the power of 2 plus 7 to the power of 1 to simplify. We are expected to do this without a calculator. So let's solve together. Let's say solution. Recall that a to the power of 2 times a to the power of 3 is equal to a to the power of 2 plus 3, which is equal to a to the power of 5. So with this in mind, we can therefore write our equation as 7 to the power of 4 plus 1 plus 7 to the power of 4 plus 7 to the power of 2 plus 1 plus 7 to the power of 2 plus 7 to the power of 1. So with reference to this law, we can write as 7 to the power of 4 times 7 to the power of 1 for this plus 7 to the power of 4 plus 7 to the power of 2 times 7 to the power of 1 for this plus 7 to the power of 2 plus 7 to the power of 1. So in the next line, we are going to factor out what is common between these two and it's 7 to the power of 4. 7 to the power of 4 times 7 to the power of 1 divided by 7 to the power of 4, what is left is 7 to the power of 1. Plus 7 to the power of 4 divided by 7 to the power of 4, what is left is 1. And close the bracket. Plus between these two, what is common is 7 to the power of 2. So if you open a bracket, 7 to the power of 2 times 7 to the power of 1 divided by 7 to the power of 2, what is left is 7 to the power of 1. Plus here, 7 to the power of 2 divided by 7 to the power of 2, that is 1. Close the bracket plus write this down, 7 to the power of 1. And we are fine. So in the next line, we can write that 7 to the power of 4, 7 plus 1, that is 8, plus 7 to the power of 2, 7 plus 1, that is 8, plus 7 to the power of 1. So in the next line, we are going to bring out what is common, which is 8. Open a bracket, 7 to the power of 4 times 8, divided by 8, it will be left with 7 to the power of 4, plus 7 to the power of 2 times 8, divided by 8, what is left is 7 to the power of 2. Close the bracket plus 7 to the power of 1 and it's very fine. And also if we consider this law, we can also split our equation as 8 to the power of 7 to the power of 2 plus 2. Because 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 7 to the power of 2. Close the bracket plus 7 to the power of 1. And this can be written as 8 into 7 to the power of 2 times 7 to the power of 2 plus 7 to the power of 2 close the bracket plus 7 to the power of 1. So if you write it out, what is common here is 7 to the power of 2. Open a bracket. 7 to the power of 2 times 7 to the power of 2 divided by 7 to the power of 2. What is left is 7 to the power of 2. Plus 7 to the power of 2 divided by 7 to the power of 2, that will be 1. Close the bracket. Plus 7 to the power of 1. But 49 is the same thing as 7 to the power of 2. So in the place of 7 to the power of 2, we are replacing it with 49. So that our equation will become 8 into 49 times here 49 plus 1 that is 50 and close the bracket plus this 7 to the power of 1 and it's okay so we can rewrite this as 49 times 50 times 8 plus 7 to the power of 1 is is equal to 49 times 5 times 8 is 40, and this 0, just put it there, plus 7 to the power of 1. And in the next line, we can write 49 as 50 minus 1 times 400 plus 7 to the power of 1, and it's fine. 
So 4 times 5 is 20. And count the 0, 1, 2, 3. And put it behind 20. That's 20,000 minus 400 times 1. That is 400 plus 7 to the power of 1. So that the next line, we have 20,000 minus 400. That is 19,000. 600 plus 7. 19,600 plus 7, that is 19,607. And this is our final answer. So the original equation is simplified as 19,607. And we are fine. Thank you for staying to the end.